Hello guys and welcome to this new class in where we're gonna see a new tool called Clipping Mask. This tool could be quite interesting. So let's use it first in order to mask off these stairs. These stairs looks a little bit weird here. They are the projection of this and other stairs from the floor plan. They are the same, but they are behind the building, behind this section elevation. So maybe, in my opinion, they shouldn't be there. So here we could do different things. The first one is to add another element, like in the previous class, say rectangle, one click, second click, change the color, sample paint, one click, paint bucket here. Now the fill is in white color. I select this element. I move over the correct tray and I turn off the stroke. One click outside and now I select the element, right button, arrange, send to back. One click outside and now this line is continuous because it's above this another element which is invisible, right? This is one option. Another option, I will select this element and I will delete it, is to use a clipping mask. For doing this, I can use the rectangle tool again. I will snap this corner and I will make a new rectangle and pay attention here because this new rectangle which I am selecting right now and I'm turning off the fill and turning on the stroke, this rectangle will be the new viewport. Everything inside this rectangle will be visible and everything out of this rectangle will be invisible. So in order to do this, in order to use this clipping mask, I have to select the rectangle, the visible rectangle, then select as well just the current viewport, right button, create clipping mask. One click on here and here we are. Our new viewport is that previous rectangle which I just draw. And as you can see, we don't have the stairs anymore because those stairs were placed out of this rectangle. One click outside and I am finished. If I want to recover the previous state of the viewport and the stairs as well, then I have to click and find the new viewport, this rectangle, right button, release clipping mask. And here we are. Now the rectangle is just a rectangle. The stairs are again here and the viewport is the previous viewport. This is interesting because we can create, let's say, creative viewports. For example, instead of the rectangle, I will use now the line and I will create a compound path which will be at the end my new viewport, right? So let's follow the section plane till here, for example, then I will go up, I will follow the roofs. I can turn on the stroke and turn off the fill in order to draw easily. I continue drawing and I should always finally close my compound path. Here we are. Then it is the correct moment for selecting that compound path. We can check it here and if we want a better check we can use the fill and here we are. This is our compound path which in the next future will be our viewport. All the things out of that compound path will not be visible. So I turn off the fill, the clipping mask is already selected. Now I need to select the viewport, the current viewport. So I hold down shift key, one click. Both elements are already selected. Right button, create clipping mask. One click outside. It seems that it didn't work correctly, but the stairs are not there anymore, right? The thing is that this element is an added element and it is still there because it was out of the clipping mask from the beginning, right? So if I want this podium out, I should delete it by myself. And here we have the result of the clipping mask. This vision of the interior of our Barcelona pavilion, I think is quite attractive. If I select that clipping mask, I can turn on the stroke and maybe now is better. So this is up to you. I think that I prefer to have this previous version 
of the section elevation using the first clipping mask. So I will undo my last actions. And here we are without the stirs and with the first clipping mask active. Let's save the changes, file save. And in the next class, we will see how to draw titles and scrapbook items.